Dr. Sisk Hilton, thank you for being here today. Please, tell us about who you are. What department are you in? What is the position you hold? And how long have you been with San Francisco State University? I'm Stephanie Sisk Hilton, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Elementary Education. I've been here for nine years, and prior to becoming a professor, I was a classroom teacher, administrator, and professional developer at the K-8 level for 10 years. Professor, what are your interests? Please describe the critical issues in education that motivate you and the impact those issues have had on your work. The core idea that underlies all the work that I do is that science education um, and really more broadly content education in general is a social justice issue. That um, the way our educational system is set up limits who has access to high quality content instruction based not on what people are capable of doing, but rather on our notions of who deserves certain types of educational experience and outdated notions of um, needing to do small basic skills prior to engaging in big ideas and core concepts. So the research that I do seeks to open that box and look at what children actually are capable of doing so that we can question our current practices in a meaningful way. So to do that, I do two lines of research. The first is looking specifically at what young children can understand about big ideas in science given idealized classroom learning conditions. Um, in particular, I have spent the past several years looking at how young children can come to understand natural selection and evolution, something that's frequently not taught to young children because they're thought to be incapable of it. But in fact, we found that under good instructional conditions, children are very capable of reasoning about this in ways that helps them in their future science achievement. Um, I also, along with that, look at how teachers engage in improving their practice through collaborative inquiry, because I think that it's only through the teacher level that we'll actually see changes in the classroom that are in accord with what we know about child development. Um, more recently, I have also been involved in two international collaborations around these two lines of research. Um, I've done some work in China around introducing inquiry-oriented uh, practices into classrooms there. Um, and I've also, I'm currently collaborating with two Palestinian professors around supporting um, teacher reflective inquiry cross-culturally in our two countries. Dr. Sisk Hilton, can you please take a moment and tell us about the research methodologies that you have used and why? So the overall goal of my research agenda is to be relevant to systemic change. However, uh, my research studies are not actually systemic in their design. And the reason for that is that I study how children learn and how teachers engage in their pedagogical decision making in a way that requires deep analysis. And so I tend to do uh, small scale, long term studies where we're analyzing uh, children's understanding through a variety of methods. We do video analysis. Um, we do interviews with individual children. Uh, we do analysis of student work. And we tend to look at um, a small number of classrooms, sometimes even a single classroom, over a period of time to gain a full understanding of how children are engaging in learning and how teachers are engaging in and modifying their pedagogical practices. Um, so largely my experience is in qualitative, in-depth, small-scale studies. Professor, what is your experience working with doctoral students? What types of roles have you performed in the EDD program, such as teacher, chair, member of committee? For the past several years, I've taught one of the doctoral courses, the Theories of Learning and Development in Math and Science, which is currently a second year, first semester course. Uh, I've been on a number of doctoral committees. Um, I have chaired one dissertation and I'm currently chairing another. And I'm also on the executive committee for the doctoral program. 